Thank you for joining us in this episode of Takeaway Tuesday. And it's a special one because I find myself here in the Philippines with A.J. Velasco, uh, a young man that this state is going to be supporting through the Send the Light World Missions uh, Manila Marriott project. In the next few months, we're going to be hearing a lot about this project and how we are going to be supporting it. But today I wanted to sit with AJ and I just wanted you to be able to share with mm -hmm. us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Um, let them know just a little bit of who you are mm -hmm. and, and, and how God called you into ministry and what he's been doing through your life. All right. So hi, I'm AJ Velasco and we started our church, COG, Church of God Merit Manila last 2015. So we're two years, old, two years old, and God has been really blessing us abundantly. And you know what? Uh, uh, more than 20 years ago, I just came from uh, my dad's church in Church of God Dasmarinas. And I started there as a Sunday school. And I never dreamed of doing what I'm doing right now, being a pastor here. And because when I was young, I was part of the Sunday school, and I've been bullying all those kids. And when they ask me if I want to be a pastor, it's a really big no. But when I think it, I was about 15 years old, God woke me up in the middle of the night and God really told me this very short phrase and it says, lead the way. And at that time, I didn't take notice of it. I didn't give attention of it. And who would have thought that God would bring me here after about more than 10 years? So after college, I studied industrial management engineering yeah. and I worked for almost two years in our company in Fleur Daniel so it's an engineering firm but when I was there I felt like I wasn't satisfied already I was having I was not having this satisfaction and fulfillment so I asked God Lord what is your calling for my life Lord where where are you leading me is this my life I'm gonna am I gonna give up my life for this company and then to cut the long story short God had led me to resign and through his word in Jeremiah chapter 1 telling me that um, he knows already me before I was born he sanctified me and he ordained me to be a prophet to the nations and I remember it in the verse that he told me that he will just use me for for our nation and I'm I'm not gonna be it's not gonna be my word it's gonna be God's word and he will just simply deliver me through the nations. Amen. And God has been doing some amazing things in your life and, and at such a, a young age, because mm -hmm. you're only 26, 26, years, 26 old. years old. And and God took you, your your, your dad's church that you were talking about mm -hmm. uh, runs now over 15,000 yeah. members. You serve there as the youth pastor, mm -hmm. um, also as the national youth director yeah. as well. Um, so God has been taking you and doing some amazing things when did the burden for Marriott Manila begin? Because he's been taking mm -hmm. you so big and doing so many great things. Where, where did the Marriott Manila vision and, and, and heartbeat come from? It started last 2015 when I was really struggling already at work. I was feeling this uh, struggle. If I'm gonna focus on the business side or am I gonna focus on the church side? So when before I resigned, I just told God, Lord, I just want to resign and maybe have my own business so I could have more time for the ministry. But little did I know that God was leading me already to going full-time. So praise God for Church of God Philippines and Church of God uh, Metro Manila region for they gave me a full-time position in the church. And after that, I enrolled myself to our one of our programs in church. It's called the Life Ambassador Program. Because you know what, in the Philippines, uh, the youth, um, the youth of our of the our church, they don't want to be tagged as pastors, because having this tag as pastors is uh, they feel it as a more burden, mm. they feel a bigger responsibility, so they don't want to be tagged as pastor. They just want to help. So so that's why uh, my dad and I came up with a program called Life Ambassador Program. Mm. So in the Life Ambassador Program, you don't need to be a pastor to help and share your burden. So I enrolled myself there. And you know what, when I enrolled there, they taught, taught us so many things to be prepared for our ministry. It's just like a backpack principle. So they don't teach us like the whole seminary course. They mm -hmm. just teach us the backpack principle wherein they just show us and teach us what we really need in our start in the ministry. And you know what, in the third day, that's where God called me and He impressed on me because my heart is really to uh, transform the Philippines into a born-again Philippines, born-again Filipinas. And I remembered it clearly that God impressed to me that if you want the country to be born again, 
you got to start and go to its capital city, and that is Manila. And, and I'm excited for what uh, we are going to be seeing in the months mm -hmm. ahead with different videos and the time that we were able to spend with you, uh, seeing what's going on with the sidewalk ministry, mm -hmm. seeing how you guys are working in discipleship. I'm just so excited. I just want you to share with us even just this little small piece uh, that you shared with some of our pastors is as you uh, began the process of starting the church, it's called Marriott Manila because you meet in yeah. a Marriott. That's right. And I think even that story of how you got there and, and, and the price that they gave you in the beginning uh -huh. and how it was cut, if you can just share that a All little right. bit with us to show us that God is really in, in the mm -hmm. move of what's going on here. So this is what happened. After I graduated from the Life Ambassador program, I quickly started going to the city of Manila to look for a place of worship. So I tried in the fort in one of the main cities in Manila, but they didn't want the church on their, on their spot. So I went to another uh, city, another place, and they're not open to a church. And then finally, I ended up uh, looking at the, uh, at the place at Marriott Hotel, Manila. And then they toured me first, showed me the whole hotel. And then at the end of the day, they told me, uh, asked them, uh, we're planning to put up a church here, a place of worship. And how much does it cost for us to rent one, one uh, maybe three hours on a Sunday? And they told me it's going to be $8,000 wow. per use. So for three hours, good for three hours, it's $8,000 per use. So it discouraged me, it disappointed me because I've been roaming around the city of Manila and that's what they're gonna say. So I called my dad, I told him, Dad, uh, it's $8,000 per use. So instantly he told me, get out from there. <laughs> that's not the place for us. <laughs> but you know what, here's the amazing thing that happened. After one week, I, I, I look at my phone and Marriott Hotel was calling me. Hmm. And then when I answered the phone, they said, Sir Anton, Sir AJ, are you really interested in the place, in the spot for Marriott Hotel? So I told them, yes, we are really very much interested for, for this spot, but this is only our budget. So I told them it's only $2,000 per month. So they said they're going to work it out. And you know what happened? For, for one month, I didn't hear from them. Mm. Not a single bit. I didn't hear, hear from Mar Marriott. But you know what? After one month, to cut the long story short, they said, uh, they're gonna give us a discount, so it was eight thousand dollars per use, down to eight thousand dollars per month. Mm -hmm. And I told them it's still not gonna work. Still too much. <laughs> still too much. Till they gave a deeply discounted price for us, and it was two thousand dollars per month. So that's really wow. the word of God. It's really His favor that's, upon that's, our church. Like you said, it's His favor, and and, and you know that He is in the midst of, of mm -hmm. the call that He has for you. You guys have been worshiping there. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have been moving and, and shaking uh, right. Manila there, but you know you can't do everything that you need to do there yeah, right. and and part of what we are going to be supporting is a, a place a hub like you call it to be able to to do more ministry um can you sh as we begin to close can you just share with us what that is what that looks like in marriott for the past two years we only meet at marriott only on sundays so we just meet there on the morning of our sundays so after that, uh, the, the hotel is not ours anymore. The ballroom is not ours anymore. So we don't have any place to fellowship. We don't have any place to, to do our discipleship because we only rent the, the Marriott Hotel ballroom for only the Sunday. So now what we do is we, we're looking for a place to do our fellowships, our discipleships, our worship practices. And then praise God because when Dr. Griffiths uh, went to Manila, I think uh, this year, uh, it, it's just timely that um, we had a alignment of our dreams and visions and we were looking we found a place and it, it, it is in 81 Newport Boulevard so mm. it's a condominium unit so we purchased that unit so that uh, that will be a place for discipleship a hub for youth and discipleship for for our church on a weekday amen and and that is what we as South Georgia Church of God is going to be partnering with. I'm so grateful for our Bishop Gary Lewis and for grabbing a hold of this vision because I believe that we are going to be sowing into fertile ground. Like I mentioned before, we're going to be showing videos in the in the months to come of what's going on here and ways that you are able to connect. Thank you for spending this time with us. Thank you, AJ, for spending this time with us and allowing us to be here with mm -hmm. you. God bless and we'll see you next time.